Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, this is Venget here from Wizards and welcome to our uh, you know series we call Liz series. Let's learn it short and simple and in today's session uh, I am going to talk about uh, Stacy matrix. So what is Stacy matrix? Most of the time one of the common question practitioners ask is when to use waterfall methodology, when to use uh, Kanban, when to use Scrum. Uh, so you need to know when you know each of this technique is you know appropriate and that's what we are going to learn today. Let's get into the session. So uh, this is we call Stacy Matrix. Uh, Stacy is a professor in UK and he come out with the you know a, a kind of uh, a matrix that helps us, you know, that will help us, you know, picking up or choosing which methodology is appropriate for the given project or situation. Now, if you see, we have two axes and in one axis, we talk about technology or the output and the scale varies from known to unknown. On the other side, we have requirements or in other words, we call what part and that, you know, the degree of variance is from clear 100% clear to 0% clear or 100% unclear. So this is the you know axis where we talk about requirements, what part and this axis we are talking about the technology or the solution which is the out part. You know, out part. Now when you are working on a project where you know your requirements very clearly, you know what exactly customer wants and you also know the technology or the solution how to address the you know the what part when both are you know very clear and known then we call this as a simple zone so basically what stacy has you know come out with he divides this entire region into four zones the first zone we call simple the second zone is complicated the third zone is complex and the last is chaotic now what is simple zone when the requirements are clear most of the requirements are clear and the technology or solution is clear we call that as a simple zone when you have maybe 40 50 percent or 60 percent of the requirements are clear but still 20 percent is not clear or 20 to 30 percent not clear same thing applies for the technology or solution side most of the you know the technology of the solution is known maybe with 20 to 30 percent is not known we call that as a complicated the third zone is most of the you know part of requirements maybe i would say uh, 50 to 60 percent is not clear or the technology wise the unknown is more than the known then we call that zone as a complex and the fourth which is the exact opposite to simple is chaotic where you don't know what customer wants and if, if you don't know what customer wants and obviously we may not know how to meet that you know how to solve the problem the technology is also will be unknown so this zone is both the requirement is not clear and the solution is also unknown this we call chaotic zone so these are all the four uh, you know uh, way uh, Stacy has divided this entire region simple zone complicated complex and chaotic so if you are in if you are you know have working in a project which falls into this simple zone then the recommended methodologies you can go with waterfall or in some cases you can go with lean simple lean you know practices so waterfall or lean is a uh, recommended methodology and this zone is fully dominated by what we call as a best practice now the second zone is a complicated zone and if you are working in a project which falls into the complicated zone then the recommended you know the methodology uh, project management methodology is Kanban and this zone is highly dominated by good practice and the next zone is complex where most of the requirement is not known or the technology or solution is not known only 20 to 30 percent is known then you stick to scrum and this zone is 
dominated by emerging practice. You need to come out, emerge with new practice. And the last one is chaotic. Customer don't know what he wants and we don't know what how we are going to solve the problem. In those kind of you know uh, situations, we need to use some of the innovation technique. That's where um, design thinking or understanding the customer, you know, uh, we call empathy, empathy about the customer or the personas. It's going to be very, you know, important. You need to understand, you, you know, the customer pain points. You need to, you know, develop a lot of observation, uh, you know, techniques. And also we focus on a lot of user experience and UI design so that you understand how we can, you know, better understand the problem from the customers. And these are all the four zones and uh, the difference between complicated and complex is uh, complicated you know I, I I always give this you know with a simple uh, analogy if someone is going to do a cataract surgery uh, maybe we call as a simple simple procedure right because it's it's just you need to you know remove a layer and worst case maybe you might end up with some eye you know uh, infection or maybe worst case you may lose your power uh, if someone is undergoing uh, art, say bypass surgery, maybe we can call that as a complicated because uh, the doctor knows what is the problem and he also knows the solution, but he is touching the art, right? If something goes wrong, boom, it's going to be a, you know, a big problem. So that's, you know, that's where we call as a complicated, right? So here we depend on good practice. Now, the doctor is, you know, knows there is a problem in, in your art uh, but he is not clear on what is the you know the cause of the problem he knows something wrong in the art but i don't know exactly what is causing and he is telling let me open the art then i will find out where the problem is so then it's a complex right so he need to emerge with the new practice and the chaotic is uh, assume that the doctor is don't know whether to open your art or your skull. You don't know whether the problem lies in the art or in the brain. Then you first understand what is the real problem. So that's where we talk about design thinking, you know, demonstrating empathy and that's a chaotic zone. Uh, so that's a very, you know, a quick introduction about Stacy Matrix. With that, I will end my session. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this session and uh, if you like this, please do share with your friends and colleagues and also uh, if you want to watch more such videos, please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and if you have any specific topic, uh, interesting topic on which you would like to know similar videos, please do mention in the comment session. We will look into that and we will make sure that is addressed in the upcoming sessions and also if you want to notify about any upcoming videos, please click the notify button so that you will be automatically notified. Thank you and uh, see you soon in another session. Bye.